If you're going to run an irrigation system directly off the mains water supply, it's vitally important you know how much pressure and flow is available. If you don't check this out, it may be that your sprinklers, instead of spraying, just dribble out, and that could be embarrassing. So how do we do it? Well, very simply, we need some bits of equipment. First of all, we need a pressure gauge. You must use a pressure gauge. It's no good second guessing how much pressure is available within the system. This fits on the outlet of the tap. Make sure you do it firmly, otherwise you could get a bit wet. I've also got a short length of hose and a container of a known volume. Now, in this case, I've graduated the inside in five litre intervals, so I know exactly how much water is filling this container. And the last thing you need is a stopwatch or a watch with a second hand, so you can measure how long it takes to fill up the container. First thing we need to do is, is know how much overall pressure or static head pressure we have available. And you do that by leaving these two valves open and then slowly opening the tap, switching off the outlet and then opening the tap fully. You'll notice on the pressure gauge we've got just short of four bar pressure and that's a great pressure but it's no use because we've got no flow going out. So what we need to do is measure it again at three bar, two bar and one bar and see how much flow we've got coming through. Right, we're all set to carry out our flow test. Now we've got a static head of just below four bar. We want to be testing the flow at three bar, two bar and one bar. And how we do that is by opening the outlet and allowing water to flow through until we've reached that three bar position and then we'll time it. Now remember I've got graduations inside this bucket so I know exactly what water level we've got and how much flow is going through so I don't have to keep emptying the water each time. So this is simply done by opening up the tap and when I'm flowing at three bar I then reach a graduation point that I can measure and then I'll start timing. Okay. Okay, so I've reached a graduation point, so I know how much water has flowed, and I know how many seconds it took to fill that up. So what I need to do is just write that figure down, and then I need to complete, uh, carry on the test, or um, repeat the test, at pressures of two bar and one bar. Once I've got those, I can pop them down into a chart and work exactly how much flow and pressure we've got available. By doing that, we can then design the system around those figures.